With three kids, a house in the suburbs and a job in the city, Bassam Javed drives a lot. I drive at least 100 kilometers a day. He wanted to find out if buying an electric vehicle would save him money, higher upfront cost, but no more gas bills. And, and then I figured that, you know, this is actually um, something that would be interesting for more people than just me. Because he's a PhD candidate and lecturer at UBC, Javed turned his personal dilemma into a study, comparing the total cost of owning and operating an electric vehicle with its gas counterpart. There's a lot of factors that go into it. Uh, electricity prices, gasoline prices, um, the, the amount of rebates. What he found was the cost calculation of owning an EV varies dramatically, depending on where you live in Canada and how much you drive. Costs are lowest in Quebec because it has the highest subsidies and cheapest electricity. EV drivers there would have to drive an average of 46 kilometres a day for seven years to break even, compared to a gas car. BC comes in second with 64 kilometres daily. Ontario, 88 kilometres. And up north, owning an EV doesn't make much sense. To break even, drivers in Nunavut would have to average 181 kilometres. And so there's actually a big urban-rural gap in um, the problems that arise when you transition to an electric vehicle. This economist says policies to promote electric vehicles need to take geography into account. And that's the one we're looking at right there. Cost isn't the only factor for shoppers like Christian Sloan. Definitely like the green aspect holds weight as well. Like it's nice to like be shaking it up and doing something, doing your part to change the game a little bit. As for Javid, after all that research, he drives an electric plug-in hybrid. If you're driving a lot, and depending on where you live in Canada, it can make a lot of sense. For the amount of time he spends on the road, he figures he'll save money eventually. Lindsay Duncombe, CBC News, Vancouver.